I would, I still go back to my fundamental rule though, is that it's up to the client. Do they want to live with indecisiveness and indecision that results in years, if not decades of not knowing what to do with their lives? Yeah. Really hoping for coming to the United States or do the, is it more important that they get a decision for me at the end of the day, getting the decision is a win yeah. because we now know. And once you have a decision, we can go and say, do we need the second win? Do we want to push to try to get an approval of the visa? Or are you like, okay, I, I feel happy. I'm done with this. Um, <clears throat> that's a very personal call. I know some attorneys like, well, it's never a win unless they actually get the visa issued and, or get the status they're applying for. For a lot of my clients, they just want that uncertainty of waiting forever to be gone. Yeah, yeah. I have cases where a person's uh, Iranian consular processing, and they're 23. They want to make a decision whether to you know pursue higher education, stay in Iran, or sometimes um, they got to stay single so the, the I-130 doesn't get denied. And they're yeah. like, you know, I have a relationship. The the girlfriend or fiance is like getting frustrated with it. They're like, well, you know, my family's telling me we got to get married. And he's like, no, we can't have an I-130. It's pending and pending. And sometimes, you know what? You just got to you know, bite the bullet. And it's a very personal decision. Live your life, live your life. You know, don't, I don't, I'm, I'm privileged of being born and raised in the United States. And with the way we treat immigrants these days, I, I truly question why people see us as some type of beacon of wanting to be here instead of trying to go to Canada or Europe or somewhere. Yeah, I find myself telling my clients, just just go to Canada if you can. If you got this investor money or you got these, you know, degrees that work, why why go through this disrespect and, and just hassle? And I you know both of us have a, a monetary incentive to say the opposite. But I Absolutely. it blows me. I, I have every, yeah. every reason in the world saying, let's keep suing, let's do more. <laughs> let's let's it, find the case and yeah. do our I don't want to take someone's money if it's not gonna get them a benefit. Yeah. And it's, it's like, why is just your life being torn away? And they, they, it's very personal and offensive and, and heartbreaking for them. So it's like, is it worth it to come to the U S uh, at this point, you know, so I have clients right now, I have an L one where they just going crazy. And the clients are like, you know what, we're just going to hold off on our massive investment until the next administration, next president comes. And it's not even necessarily a Trump thing. It's just really USCIS being difficult L ones. It's gotten worse, but it's like hundreds of thousands, millions of dollars. And I'm a solo practice. Like, of just on, on the waiting lines to come invest in the U.S. and create U.S. jobs. It's, it's like the Buy American garbage that they're putting out there to deny these cases is stopping investors from coming here to create American jobs and American products 